Green. We have cooked hard to illuminate the mysterious mechanisms behind dessert. And yet, I sense that some of you hunger for more. Perhaps you expect I can shed a little. Can reveal a culinary force more powerful than anything you can imagine. Are you prepared to fuff That's right. Just really, really, really dark. Just what did you expect? Squink? Venezuelan. Once upon a time, chocolate was chocolate. Then we developed chocolate. And then uh, chocolate, eventually, of course, squink. Then the midnight ebony of the ever so slightly sistered chocolate. All descriptors that essentially mean nothing. A hundred percent chick. To uh, better understand that, we have got to go to the source. Although the tree we're about to meet, Theobroma cacao, is this calls for a field trip. A field trip to the big island of Hawaii. Use a cleavy uh, to uh, cow cow. Wow, wow, wow. In the first place is the inner nib, the actual source of all chocolate, which you see right there in that bin. Yeah! I bid the coops a fond farewell, and then I head on down the hill back to civilization. Against my will, I might add. Research shows that uh, the ancient Olmec people were already drinking chush before Cortez busted up Montezuma's chush. But one of Cortez's cronies did note. The drinker is the healthiest and the greatest sustenance of anything you can drink in the world. Because he who drinks a cup of this, no matter how far he walks, can go a whole day without eating anything else. The Spanish invented the manatee. Chosh, 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 chosh houses exploded. Ah, and thus the trinity of cow, cow, sugar, and milk was established in the culinary firmament. And I, for one, firmly believe that the most intense chosh experience you can have is from a steaming hot, nasty mess. Pour one pint, that's 16 fluid ounces of whole, into a microwave safe well. Add the nib and uh, we chop six ounces of dark chosh and pump all the way up and down gently 10 to 12 times. And so we see what was born, a hot chosh is now a milkshake, or a uh, froth, to be technically correct. Blend with coffee instead of milk, and you've got yourself a mocha froth. Very nice indeed, indeed. If you really want to turn up the dark, you simply must construct additional pylons. What's the matter? Cookie got your tongue? <laughs> You are also You are also going to need food grade cocoa 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 butter and I say food grade because cocoa 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 butter is also heavily used in the cosmetics industry. Dip. Just keep repeating the cycle. One minute of process, wipe down, one minute rest, wipe down, one minute of process, wipe down, one minute rest, wipe down, one minute of process, wipe down, one minute rest, wipe down, one minute. I find that marshmallow cream is superior. Marshmallow cream is is one of very few American confections still kicking around after almost 100 years. We're gonna need two ounces of marshmallow cream per pound of chocolate. Place the uh, marshmallow uh, cream into a zip top bag and then distribute the rest of the cream and get the money. Please note, I am actually wider than the bowl. This is a whippet. We are using a nitrous oxide canister. Nitrous oxide has become popular in the form of whippet. Go ahead, skin in that smoke, whoa, whoa, and see what happens. Stay dark, it's 